What is up my Irish Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the new season of Modern Warfare which is season 5. Now in this trailer we got a lot of changes coming to Warzone and new maps actually coming into the multiplayer side of Modern Warfare and some weapons and many many more things that are coming as well. So before we start, I just want to say that I have a Twitch channel that I live stream to every week, mainly Call of Duty, but of course I do other games as well. And if you want to check it out, link will be down in the description below. Now at the start of the trailer, we see Lurch flying over stadium in a helicopter with an operator from season four called Rose on top of the stadium and she's planting explosives onto the roof of the stadium then we see the roof being destroyed and the helicopter lurch is on land down in the stadium with this it's telling us story wise shadow company are here and are the ones that blow up the roof on the stadium as of now we don't know why they've done this and as of now we don't fully know the whole story of season five as of now but we will soon learn what it is all going on so most cut fans who play modern warfare warzone noticed that they added tunnels with railway lines in so everyone basically knew that trains were coming to warzone however we thought it was going to be ones that were already in the game that were already near the train station just like these ones but it's actually not it's a brand new train and we actually see it moving around the whole map of Verdansk as well next then we have is a mechanic that is already in warzone and is used in big buildings mainly kind of the downtown ones in the elevator lifts that bring people up it's basically a repellent system we see this system in use on prison, however this is not the only other place you will find this system. There are also the big buildings throughout Verdansk or Warzone where people will be camping and hopefully this will help with camping. However I don't think it will, I can see where they are coming from with putting this in but if you've got a squad, trio, duo or even just a solo it's fairly easy just to have your loadout and put down some claymores or even bounce bays or some kind of lethal equipment just to stop people from coming up and basically using this system because you can have the door on lockdown you could have that repel on lockdown as well and you know i i don't really know i can see why they're doing it but you kind of have to be really really stupid not to know this is like not nah, this is here or not to hear somebody coming up because you really do hear people going up that mic. After this we are shown turrets that are on the train that you can use. These kind of seem like to be the ones that look a lot like the kill streak ones that you can get in Modern Warfare. We actually see the train is moving and players are actually dropping onto it. On the train there's at least two tanks as cargo and will these be coming to war zone i really hope not they would be super kind of overpowered and people would just keep landing for the tanks the whole time if this is the case then the train seems like it's going to be a good place to drop like it'll have good loot and everything and if that's the case we could see more and more people dropping to the likes of these places instead so if this really is going to be the way Warzone is, so both stadium and train are both going to be basically hot drops, just like Superstore was, or IP Superstore, gone but never forgotten. Moving over to the multiplayer side of Modern Warfare, we are actually shown some new maps, and the first one being a 6 versus 6 map named Soldal Harbor Location Soldal Yorgistan. After this, we have a ground war map named Verdansk International Airport Location. Verdansk Casto. Now, this is all of the airport and the hangars as well. It's fairly big, alright. It's a really, really 
big place and you're going to have it is ground war map and it's going to be good hopefully up next then we have livestock which is a new gunfight map located in the eastern farmlands in castova finally then we have is another six versus six map named petrov oil rig location classified now this is actually a remake of offshore from modern warfare 3 i think it was a dlc map now on this map we actually see Lurch holding an AN-94, which we knew was coming to Modern Warfare. We just didn't know when, and we knew for a while it was coming. And recently, we also got to see Velkadin holding the ACP-9, which is in this image. This is the end of the video, guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button right beside the like button. Should be the subscribe button right beside that. Should be the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload to the channel or whenever I go live on the channel, which is rare. Speaking of live streams, I tend to live stream weekly, like I said, on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description below. I've been getting a lot of momentum over there and been getting a good few people into the chat every time I stream. And I hope to see you there. If you want, link down in the description below. When you're there, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. How do you want to know when I upload or when I uh, go live on my Twitch or even upload to my YouTube? I have a Twitter that I manually update whenever I upload to my YouTube channel or whenever I live stream to my Twitch. Link down in the description below to that as well. And once you're there you can hit the follow button and you will stay up to date whenever i post and yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace